Hi, Pep. Um, Jerry Jacks from The Guardian. Tomorrow night, how much can you enjoy it, the game, the derby, or, or how stressed will you be given you know, it's such an important game? Well, the tension is there, it's necessary. To feel the pressure is necessary to compete this kind of games. If you are quite relaxed, nothing to do. Uh, every, I think everybody knows what we're going to play for. Try to focus in, in the target of focusing on what you have to do. Will you say to your players, look, if we win this, obviously you haven't won the title, but you know, you've done the hardest thing by Sorry. beating... Will you say to your players, look, if we beat United, we, we beat Spurs on the weekend, we've done the hardest thing for this title defence. Will you use that as a sort of inspiration or motivation? No, I didn't. Today we spoke a little bit what you have to do to, to try to do a good game, to try to beat them, train for the ga- for the players who, who play a lot of games in the last month, in the last weeks, and not not too much intense. And tomorrow we're going to make the last training and go more than the specifics tomorrow in the training session in the morning. Uh, Dave McDonald from the Daily Mirror. Um, this morning, uh, Solskjaer has said that he's preparing his side to receive lots of fouls from your team. He said that they will, I think, snap it, right? a lot of fouls, fouls from your team towards Manchester United. He said so we are going to make faults to them. Yes. He said that they will snap at your ankles and heels and kick you, not allow you any easy counter-attacking because there will be fouls. Now that's a... a Did a he mess- say that? Yeah. Now that's With a mess- 75% the average or 65 or 70% average of the balls, how you do that? Well, no, I'm just telling you what he said. So, But I mean, no, sorry, Jose Mourinho said a similar thing. How, how tiring does it get for you that this thing about tactical fouling keeps being labelled at your team, you and your teams, that when oppositions try and counter-attack, you tactical foul to stop that? I don't have any comments about that, so I never prepared a game since uh, my 10th season as a manager, thinking about these kind of things, never. And my players can talk better than me that about that. The players who I had in Barcelona and Bayern Munich here, if one of the targets is about the contracts for the operators making faults. Never I said one player make a fault to avoid something for the other ones. Football, sometimes you do that, you know, football, the action is quick, fast. But uh, I'm worried, really. I'm concerned about many, many other things about the game to have to play to beat them than these kind of things. So I don't know. Tomorrow in the press conference after the game, you can ask him again about that. So I don't know. Hi, Pep James from The Standard. Um, when you came to this country with Manchester City, did you expect to have more of a challenge from United? Was that one of the things you were particularly looking forward to? I know you speak often about Strax Ferguson's United team. Did you expect them to be your main challenges? Uh, For me, United remains uh, an incredible team. So what happened in the past, I think, of course, of course they are. Of course. So, but you know, the last 20 or 25 years always was there, was there, and past few years or three or four or five, I don't know how many years, still not like before. That can happen in the term of long history. So, always I remain. My opinion about United when we play the final of the Champions League against them or the, the games we play against them in, in, in here always remains. Top managers, good players, and, and the same. So. But people say how competitive that league is because not just United, there are other issues. And, and United don't, doesn't compete not just against Man City. So we saw yesterday these this games, no? Barley is able to draw in Stamford Bridge and Crystal Palace. When we beat them there, is able to win in Emirates when 10 games in a row winning at home, Arsenal. So that's why I'm, why I'm surprised is with these competitors who were able to make 100 points and still right now have 86 and four games left. So that is a little bit surprise I didn't expect, but not the fact, the fact really against, against specific against United. Um, I think it was before this game last season that you told us you'd been offered Paul Pogba. I was just wondering if you've been offered him again lately. About Paul Pogba, yeah. Before this game last season, you said Mina Raiola had offered you Paul oh. Pogba. I was just wondering if you'd been offered him again lately. No. No, no, de- definitely not. It's a play for Man, Man United. Hi, Pat, uh, Ian from the Daily Mail. Um, when David mentioned the the Solskjaer quotes about the fouling, you looked genuinely shocked that somebody should suggest that of your of your team. 
Um, I think what you said was, how can that happen when you have so much of the ball? I think that was your point. Do you feel um, offended or insulted that someone should say that about your, I don't like your it. team? Sorry? I don't like it. You don't like it? No. But my team, our team is not built and think and create for that. Not mm. at all. Do you see that as a, when people say those things, a reflection of you as well as your team? as a person that you would, people would suggest that you would tell your players to do that? Do you take it personally? Well, I know exactly what I said to my players from the day one, from the last day. So we want to play, we want to attack, to attack, we have to be honest, and of course there are contact, of course there are faults, but because it's happened, and you arrive late, and yellow, that's why there are referees to make a yellow card, or red card, or whatever they decide. But uh, never, 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 I prepare a game to I want to do, we want to do our game, I want to do our game. Sometimes it's not possible, because the others play too. The people, sometimes it's difficult to understand that, but the other, the other teams play too, but never, never. Uh, I, I, I prepare the game to do my our own game. That is what I want, knowing, of course, the opponent, but never said I'm going to do that to punish them or uh, cancel the strength points making having faults. Never. Do you want worry that those type of comments could influence, for example, the performance of a referee. That is the reason why. Yeah. That's the reason why? Of course. Mm. And do you think it could be a successful tactic? No, I don't think so. Because we don't do that. Sorry? Shouldn't because we don't do that. Yeah. But the referee could then look for things that maybe aren't there. Really? I don't know. So... Yeah, because I would be suspended. <laughs> I don't think you're the one who's in trouble. I would be in trouble. Hi, Pep. Paul Hurst from the Times. I think people looking at Man United's form at the moment, you know, they've lost six out of the last eight. How kind of dangerous is, is it for you or for your squad to think? For one specific game, dangerous, yeah. Is that something you've kind of reminded I think of? they know it. I know how, how is the beginning, how strong will be in terms of intensity, in terms of they want to push, they want to press, they want to create a good atmosphere in Old Trafford and you have to handle it. Yeah. In terms of you yourself, how much are you looking forward to kind of testing yourself in, you know, the biggest arenas against, you know, a team of, you know, such kind of stuff? We did it. We did it in the past. And I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but we did it and I think we're going to do it again. So I like my team and I trust them a lot. It doesn't matter what happened tomorrow and uh, we have to do it. We know that. So today I, I speak few you about, about the game tomorrow, a little bit details, what you have to do in specific things we work with. We work today, this morning. Uh, tomorrow we're going to adjust something about, about, I think we imagine will be the game, but I think the players know exactly tomorrow the game, the importance of the game tomorrow, what they have to do, what they are looking for. So, so always you have to understand the situation when you put in the position right now for United players. If you are United players as a Manchester players and you lost the last game for zero and, and being told something, not good things about our performance, I know exactly after being the big rivals for the city, what will be our reaction. I know exactly what would be our reaction from my city players, but I know them. And that is what is going to happen tomorrow. So, so that is what it is. We have to accept it, but that is a challenge. Hi, Pep. Tyrone at the Manchester Evening News. With Kevin out, could Phil Foden start tomorrow? And do you think he's ready to start a game like the Manchester derby of, of such intensity? And is it important in a way to have someone who kind of understands it, who was born in Manchester, involved in a game like that? Yeah, he's ready. I don't know if the importance to be Man City fan or, uh, you know, involved in that is going to help or not. I don't know, but he's ready. Of course he's ready. We not, will not be here. We start? Who is it? I have to dream tonight. Okay, cheers guys. Cheers, thank you.